So OpenAI has released their GPT-40 model. In this video here, we're going to take a look at the features, but we're also going to take a look at the live speaking demo with a bunch of different use cases out there. So it's basically just like you can take your phone, it combines all the modalities with audio, vision, and also text. So it combines all of that into a single model being able to understand the environment that you're in, you can talk with it, it's very responsive and so on. And then just take a look at how this new GPT-40 showcases AI's potential and the direction where it's heading. So let's just jump straight into it. First of all, we have a bunch of different blog posts on the Autolytics website. So you can go inside the website, into the resources, we have the documentation, blog posts and so on, but you can read about all the new stuff coming out in text. So we have the same two model, all of it, in here, you can go and read more about it. We also have this blog post specifically for OpenAI's GPT-40 for showcasing this new AI potential. But this video here, we're just going to take a look at some of the use cases, talk about the features and so on, because the new GPT-40 model is very good and also the newest model inside of ChatGPT. So if you're using ChatGPT, you're most likely using this new GPT-40 model. It is really good on the benchmark. It has good coding capabilities understanding, reasoning, and so on about the text. But new models are always coming out all the time, so make sure that you're using the latest and best models available out there. So the coolest thing about this new model here is that it both have capabilities for audio, text, and also vision. So you can take images, you can take snippets from videos, throw it into the model together with prompts, and basically just ask it, what am I looking at now? What environment am I in? basically just come with suggestions based on where you are. So let's say that you're on a holiday or something like that, you're at a specific place, you can just take out your phone, just scan the environment around and chat live with the OpenAI GPT-40 model, combines vision, language, and also audio. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an OpenAI hoodie, nice choice. What's up with that ceiling though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? Hmm, from what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. Is this announcement related to OpenAI, perhaps? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement, or that you are the announcement? Mm, me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI, or more specifically about me as a part of OpenAI? You've got me on the edge of my, well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. Just some of the features from the GPT-40 model is that it is significantly faster, so twice as fast as the GPT-4 Turbo model. It's also very cost effective, so it's basically just half the price when you're using the OpenAI API with the new GPT-40 model compared to the previous ones. It has better memory capabilities and also this multi-modalities. So let's now going to take a look at some of the coolest live demos that they provided once they announced this model, because again, you can basically just have it do screen recordings of your iPad, laptop, mobile phone, and so on. You can basically just do your work, ask it for making improvements to the work that you're doing, or maybe just capture the work that you're doing, helping you out in specific ways so it can capture your screen, it can access your cameras, you can scan around in the environment, get different recommendations and so on, depending on what you want, but you can also just ask it whatever you want as well. So one of the cool demos that I think is basically just this GPT-40 acting as a tutor on Can Academy. So here you can basically just see a demo of a guy being taught how to do math, some basic calculus and so on. So here we basically just have uh, trigonometry where it's on CAN, CAN Academy is doing screen recording on your iPad. And then you have ChatGPT or the GPT-40 model on the left side. And then on the right side, you will have the task that you're actually like doing. So you can use this as a learning platform. You can use it in your daily work. You can have your code side by side, just do a screen recording with the ChatGPT model while you're working and it can come with suggestions. It will know beforehand what you actually want to do before you ask it because it's basically just going to have memory 
off the screenshots of the works that you're doing and then you can ask a specific question to specific things but it already have all the previous knowledge where beforehand if you're just using large language models out of the box we start a new chat it has no experience it has no knowledge of what we're doing what we want to do how we're working and so on so we need to feed all that information into the model beforehand and in every single prompt where now we can interact with it in a way more interactive way with audio images screen recordings we can basically just show it what we're doing and it's going to help us out so here we can see that he basically just asked it how to calculate the angles and so on how to come up with the formulas maybe you can start out writing the formulas and it will help you finish them but also if you write out a formula and you want to find like another side of the triangle you can just ask it i have this formula here i'm able to find this angle here now based on this how can i find the other line or the length of the line or could be angles so this is really helpful both in coding math teaching in general and so on but there's also a ton of other use cases so you could even just have like two mobile phones side by side this is also another pretty cool one so you can just talk to each other based on the outputs from one model to the other so you can basically just have like robots talking to each other basically just going over and over repeating it and so on another use case could be that you have some disability let's say that you are blind or having a hard time seeing stuff you can basically just walk around with your phone interact with it it can tell you what you're looking at what's ahead of you and so on maybe you're looking for a taxi you can just have the phone you can see when the taxi or hear when the taxi is pulling up on you and so on and it can even describe the environment that you're in so this is really useful can be a huge game changer in people's daily life and if you just hear the responses from the model as well it's very fast the responsiveness of the model you can even go in and disrupt it it's only going to have a few words to start with the processing is just instantly and the output voices are very natural and over time these models here are only going to be better this is the worst models that we have for now they're only going in one direction and they will be significantly better in the future and this is the direction where ai is headed so this is really cool i'm excited to be able to test all of this out once it is released but we can see the use cases we can see the demos it's going to transform the way we're working the way we're learning and those are some very large industries so ai is going to take over it's only going in one direction the models will become better so it's really important that you know all the use cases all the capabilities of these ai models if you want to stay ahead because it's going to make you way more productive help you out in every possible way it will be able to help you out and work assist you in any way even be your friend so i hope you have learned a ton throughout this video here seen some capabilities maybe you are pretty mind blown by it at least i was when i watched these demos for the first times and i'm really looking forward to see how this is going to change the whole world in the next couple of years to the next decade definitely make sure that you go in and read the full blog post and also all the other blog posts that we have on the Autolytics website together with the documentation so you have an understanding of how we can use all of this, how we can take AI, put it out in the real world and do useful stuff. Because at the end of the day, we need to put it out there. We need to provide value and basically just make it help other people. So thank you a lot for watching this video here, guys. I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming ones. Until then, happy learning.